Okay, exercise 512, the mechanical arm. Um, the hardest part of this assignment or this project is getting your center line set up. And as they tell you here, they give you a couple of different layers that we want to set up. Um, but the center lines are these little tick marks or these pluses that we see here. And that's the center of all of our arcs. Getting that set up um, and getting that set up properly allows you to do all of these arcs and all of these curves the proper way. So we're going to go through how to do those. <clears throat> now, we have to do a little bit of math when we do this. For me, I'm going to start this one right here that's partially obscured by this dimension line at 0, 0, so that everything can be based off of 0, 0. I'll get these ones set up along the center line here first, and then add this one, and then this one, and then we can mirror those to the bottom here. They're not drawn in, but they're here as well. Um, so getting those set up is where we're going to start. So I already have Rhino pulled up here, and I'm going to go over to my Layers tab, and this first one, I'm going to right-click, rename, and these are going to be center lines. Okay, I'll go ahead and keep them black for this because that's easy enough to see. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make one small X to begin with, and I'm going to use the polyline line from midpoint. So I'm going to do that. It's going to start at zero and turn on ortho for this. And it's just going to go a quarter of an inch in either direction. Okay, I'll do the same thing again. Midpoint there, 0.25. Okay, so there's my first X. And I'm going to copy that to the other locations that I need. Now, if I look back at this, we've got one here at zero, zero. This dimension says that the next one is 2.5 inches to the right. Then we have another one, another 2.5 inches, or 5 inches over to the right. And then a third one that's another 2 inches, which makes it 7 inches from the original. So I'm going to copy three more of those, 2.5, 5, and then 7. And I just added up these dimensions here inside my head. So I'm going to highlight this, type copy. Zoom in a little bit so I can click right here in the middle. First one's going to be 2.5. So enter and I'll click. Next one, as we said, is going to be 5 inches. Now if we just go 2.5, it thinks we need to copy a second one from 0. So that's why we have to do 5 inches. So 5 inches, enter, drag it out to the right and click. And then the next one is 2 inches over from that for a total of 7 inches. So 7, enter. And we'll click, and now we'll hit enter to stop that. So here are my four center lines right here. This one, this one, this one, and that one. Now for this one right here, we're going to have to think just a little bit. And we're going to have to, again, do a little bit of mental math. This dimension right here tells us that the distance from here to here is 2.5 inches. That's the diameter. We want to know the radius because we want to know how far it is from this center line right here up to this corner. So we take half of that, that's 1.25. And then if we look at this dimension right here, it says we're a half inch up because the radius of this arc is half an inch. So that means that we have 1.25 from here to there plus another 0.5 is going to be 1.75 up on the Y axis. Now it also has to come over to the right 0.5 inches because the radius is 0.5 and the center line is the center of that section of a circle. So 0.5 to the right, 1.75 up. So I'm going to copy this again. Command is copy, enter. I'm going to click on the middle of it and keep in mind x value goes first. So 0.5 comma 1.75, enter, and we can hit, can hit enter to stop that. So now we've drawn all four of these, and we've drawn this one. Now there's another one out here that's partially obscured by our dimension line, and we again have to do a little bit of math. So we know that from here to here was 1.25, add another 0.5, so we're at 1.75, 
And then because the radius, radius of this is 0.5, we add another 0.5. So 1.25 plus 0.5 gives us 1.75. Add another half inch, and we're up to 2.25 on the Y. Okay, and then we have to figure out how far to the right we are. So we know that from here to here is one half of an inch, 0.5, because that's the radius. Then we have another inch here, and we have another inch here. So we're going to be 2.5 inches over to the right. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to copy this one. And again, I made it easy for myself by basing this one on 0, 0. So I'm going to type copy. Enter. Point to copy from is going to be the center. And I'm going to go 2.5, comma, 2.25. Enter, and enter to stop it. And now, go ahead and just get both these on the same screen. Whoops, too far, sorry. Ah. Okay, so we have our four center lines here, and we have this one, and we have this one right here. Now, we're going to need these on the bottom as well. We could go through and we could do the same process, just put in negative for the y value, or here's a little shortcut we could use. We could mirror these. When we mirror something, we take and we make a mirror image of it across an axis. So if I highlight these, type mirror. Now, in some other programs you might hear um, called reflect, same idea. So I highlighted those, typed mirror, start of mirror plane is going to be right here. And then I'm going to drag out to the right. And you see it makes a copy of those across that center line, which happens to be our x-axis here. Once we get that part done and get our center line parts done, the rest of the drawing should be fairly easy for us.